Family Channel, Mom Blogger, Dad Blogger. All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kapo Dash. I want to say double honors, double honors to the apostles and the bishop elders at Great Millstone for teaching us this word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And uh, salutations to our fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, I'm a brother, Kabar Yahweh. Does. This is the brother Kahana La. That's the brother Arya Al Yahweh. Kahan, we're the brothers from GMS Hawaii, and we are. Uh, this is our weekly uh, lesson. Salak here, brother. This is our weekly. Um, can't lesson that we usually do in the middle of the week, you know, and hopefully we'll edify with it. This uh precept, I mean sorry, it's a lot there. I want to open up with a precept. Can you get uh matter of fact, I got it? This precept right here is uh Psalms 95 and 4. Actually, um 96. Slide here. Psalms 96 and 5. Right, it says, uh, call to worship the Lord, the how about you shot a righteous judge? All right, um, I'm gonna start at one, the points in five. It says, Oh, sing, oh, sing unto the Lord, yeah, how about you shot a new song? Sing unto the Lord, how about you shot all the earth? Sing unto the power, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For Yahweh, for Yahweh is great, great to be praised. He is not, I'm sorry, let me read that again. For the for the Lord, Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, you know, for all the gods of the nations are idols. But Yahweh made the heavens, and that's right. You know, these nations, we we live in a world where people don't fear uh, the heavenly father. You know, one, because they don't know the Lord. Neither do they know his son. They don't know who is also our Lord. They don't know Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh So what they, what the, you ask any of these people about who the one they ever call God and Jesus, right? They'll give you this Edomite version of what they believe he is. Mm -hmm. You know, some... People, people are open their mouth and be like, oh, God is a woman. Uh, it's, it's just a spirit. You know, God is a spirit. But that's not true. The scripture says the Most High is a man of war. And Yahweh is his name. That's what the scripture says. All right? The, most, the scripture also says that the Most High is not a, 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 a man where he should lie. Neither is he the son of man where he should repent. You know? It said he, 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 the father. And then the son, which is Yahweh Shah. All right. There's no mother goddess in there. There's no queen of heaven in there. All of that shit is idol worship from the nations. Like the brother Kahan said before we open up this lesson, uh, it's a bunch of women worship. And these nations, they're giving heaven into women worship. And that's in spirit because I got this image right here posted up. And these are idols from here in Hawaii. And what do they all have in common? They're females. You know, they're females, right? You see something, you see the volcano, they call it Pele the goddess, the volcano goddess. Ain't no volcano goddess, man. That don't exist. That's That shit came out of somebody's heart. They made that up. You got Haumea fertility goddess. There's no Haumea 
for some of these guys. There's no water goddess. There's no moon goddess. All these nations, they have these things. Why? Because they don't know the Lord. And all their gods are idols. But our power is a living God. Our power is a living power. Hold on. Uh, a living God. Right? Our power is a living God. Right? And he don't share he don't share his glory with nobody. This is the book of Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 10. But Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, it says, But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God. And in ever let me in fact, I'm gonna open this up in a blue letter. Salaki. Jeremiah 10 and 10. And I'll let you brother speak, Salaki. Uh Jeremiah 10, verse 10. Jeremiah 10 and 10, it says, but Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, is the true God or the true power. He is the living power and an everlasting king. And in order for you to be a king, you got to be, you have to be a male. You have to have that male energy and male power, right? Not a woman. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble and the nation shall not be able to abide his indignation, which is his anger his righteous anger you see it says um in uh nlt it says but the lord is the only true god he is a living god and an everlasting king the whole earth trembles at his anger right when the lord get angry he start tearing shit up people get scared people start dropping dead what you call a natural uh, what they call them? natural disasters they ain't natural disasters those are super, they come from the supernatural power when the lord throw a hurricane at a nation a earthquake at a nation a typhoon a flood fire destruction that's the wrath of the lord but you taught this world god loves everybody he just loves everything it don't matter how fucked up you are god just loves you it don't matter what you do you ain't got to follow his word you can just be you and according to the doctrines of men who you're going to call god and jesus just loves you and that's not true the whole earth trembles at his anger. The nations cannot stand up to his wrath. And that's what the Lord is about to bring on these nations. All right? Because of shit like this. Like it says, and we're going to get it a little later, hopefully, maybe sooner than later. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon. I think it's Wisdom of Solomon. It might be Ecclesiastes. But it says that uh, the Lord's going to have a visitation on these nations because these idols, they become a stumbling block unto the creature unto his sons man and that's why you got you got jake's all into this shit it ain't just Hawaiians. you got uh the east ends idols you know what i'm saying you got jake and it is shit all of these different nations got different idols of graven images made with hands you got the uh, uh making an elephant an idol with human with a human body or or a woman with multiple arms and hands or, or some type of androgynous idol. You know what I'm saying? Multiple. And then, and if any of you people ever saw somebody walking down the street looking like this, you get away from them, yo. You wouldn't be praising them. Uh, you got a black, black genie, a wealth and prosperity god. Durja, uh, uh, a warrior goddess. You know what I mean? Uh, Pavarati, or Parvati, the, a divine mother. You know? Shiva, destroyer. Slash transform. So this dude goes from woman to man. That androgyny and shit. And you notice that they, everybody got all these fucking arms. So you know what? And I'm have it, man. You East Indian gonna get three and four arms. It's people born like that, bro. And you are gonna have to work. Wow. You gonna be you gonna be committed to do extra work because you got extra arms in hand, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You wanna since you wanna worship this bullshit. You got something, That's brother? Right. Uh, yeah, I got uh. This is uh the. Book of Isaiah 45 and verse 5, it says, I am Yahweh by Hashem Shah, and there is none else. There is no God besides me. I girded thee, though thou has not known me. That's great. Break it down, bro. Yeah, man. And, you know, like the scriptures say, Yahweh, the Most High Yahweh through Yahweh Shah were the only ones that created everything, man. Everything else that we're going into is just imaginations 
and and creations of of men chiefly of uh, of the heathens man this is why the lord you know told us not to follow after the ways of the heathens why because everything that they believe in is based upon their own wicked you know imagination their own wicked heart and and it allows those gods allow uh jay to to do all sorts of wickedness you know yeah they're vain they don't exist they're, they're, it's just empty worship okay. right it's empty worship uh the brother Arya all can you get um uh psalms 147 start at 19. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 147, and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. And, and that's right, just like the, the precept says, Yahweh by Shimei HaShai um, has gave his word, laws, statutes, and commandments only to the nation of Israel. He's not dealing with these other, with these other nations. And um, that's why they're so twisted and messed up in the head. And wicked because the Lord ain't dealing with them. Um, I read verse 22. He has not yeah. dealt so with any nation. Simple and plain. The, 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 uh, the words of Yahweh Bashim Ashai is telling you right there. He hasn't dealt with these other nations, and that's why they that that's why they go off. That's that's why they're wicked. Because the Lord ain't the Lord ain't dealing with them, no matter what they say, um, what they do. And what they say and what they do shows the Lord ain't dealing with them. Because the Yahweh Bashim and Hashai, as, as a, the precept says, he's not an author of confusion. You see that picture with that woman with all them arms? Man, that's like my brother said, you see, a, you see somebody walking down the street like that, you ain't going to be drawn to them. <laughs> You're going to yeah. be like, what the, hell, what the hell is that? You ain't, you ain't, you ain't God. That, that's, that's wickedness right there. Psalm 711. Um, says Yahweh Hashem is angry with the wicked every day. That's why he's angry because they 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 lie, they're, they're wicked and, and you know that's what it is. He's only given his statutes and his judgments to the nation of Israel only. And right now he's only dealing with the with the uh with the elect, the hopeful elect because we hope we hope and pray that the, the widows may, you know? Keep reading. Um, verse 20, Psalm 147, verse 20. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Mm. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Hashai. And go read it in the NLT. Uh kind. NLT. Uh the verse 20. Uh, and now verse 20. Verse, verse 20. Oh, okay. So, like your brothers, I'm, I'm still well, you already know, I'm still getting used to this. All right, take um, your time. Go up, go up to that to the tab. Right? Yep, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, NLT, uh, Psalm 147, verse 20. He has not done this for any other nation. They do not know his regulations. Praise the Lord, Yahweh Yeah. These, are, so these, these are the nations. Oh, you got it. You got it, bro. No, go ahead, brother. Hang on. Yeah, these, here, here. these are the nations, these, these uh so-called you know Samoans over here, these Hawaiians, these Japhites, these Philippines. The Lord ain't dealing with them. Yahweh Shimah is not dealing with them. They, they think he is, but if you ask them the Lord's name, they're not going to be able to tell you. You ask them his son's name, they're not going to be able to tell you because Yahweh Bashim and Hashai is, is not dealing with them. They all eat. You can tell by what they eat. The Lord is not dealing with them. They all eat shrimp. Uh, how, do, how do I say it? Pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, octopus, and all that stuff. The Lord ain't doing it. You can tell by their actions and by the way they dress, and from A to Z, Yahweh Hashem Hashem is not dealing with them. He has not, he word not, done this for any other nation. They do not, N O T, they do not know his regulations. 
He has only given his law, statutes, and commandments to the nation of Israel, and two thirds of Israel is not <laughs> uh, listening to the law of Yahweh Yeah, like uh, go to um, get um, you get um, had a precept that just came to my mind. Oh, shut to this look, pulling it back. Well, when we come back, but um. Yeah, these these uh the nation. Matter of fact, go to Amos one. Just hit the arrow. Uh, uh, oh, you can go to quick quick navigation too. Amos three and one. Up oh. there it says quick quick nav up right there. Yeah, and then. Oh, okay. Yeah, you start at one points and three. I mean, points and two. It's the book of uh, the prophet Amos, chapter three, starting at verse one. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh had spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right. So the Lord don't know these other nations. The reason why we get judged as a nation, because we're not individually getting judged for just our iniquities. Our nation is under judgment right now. But when you look at these other nations, you can tell that they're not under judgment. Yeah, some of them die, they drop dead, they get sick, whatever. But they're not under judgment as a nation. That's why, like, you ain't gonna see a, a gang of so-called Latinos uh, on a billionaire's list in this world. You ain't gonna see a gang of so-called uh, Haitians or Negroes, what uh, West Indians or Haitians, um, with uh, control of a country and sovereignty and all the things that come with it. Why? Because we as a nation are under judgment. But these other nations, they're not going through that. That's why you'll have a, like, even when we in our daily lives and we see these other nations, we think they're prospering, and it seems as though they are. That's only because the Lord ain't dealing with them. You can tell they're not under the curses. You know what I'm saying? They, one thing, they eat an abominable flesh, and they're, they're skin, they're still alive. They live these long, fruitful lives, man. But Jake, if we partake in that shit, it's going to kill us, man. You know what I'm saying? You, It's going to kill over time. Don't These people, uh, their women are haughty. They're, they're, they're proud. They still got their hair. They still got their beauty. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because they're not being judged. But we as a nation, we are under that. It says, it says, uh, oh, children of Israel against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, because the Lord didn't bring up no other families out of that country. He brought up the family of the Israelites. All right. You only have I known of all the families. So of all the families of the earth, we talk even the land of Jaffa, right? This is the land of Jaffa. He came out of Noah's son, Japheth. But this ain't the family that the Lord delivered from the uh from Egypt. The, the, these families, the Edomites, they didn't get delivered from Egypt. You know what I'm saying? The Moabites, the Ammonites, they didn't get uh they didn't get uh delivered. We were the ones going through that. You only have I known all the fame of the earth, therefore I will punish you for your iniquities, you know. And if you got children, I don't know if brothers ever had to say this to your child before, but you know, when you disciplining your child, man, say they, they were a group of people. They'd be like, well, everybody else did it. You'd be like, I ain't worried about everybody else. I'm worried about you. You're the child that I'm worried about. You're my responsibility, not these other people. Well, that's how the Lord is dealing with us as a nation. You know what I'm saying? And, and why was the Lord punishing us for our iniquity? Because we turned the truth of the Most High into a lie. We started worshiping idols. We started worshiping creatures. We started worshiping ourselves. We started committing wickedness because, uh, can you get that precept um, behind where it says the beginning of uh, uh, the idols? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Bob I got I got wisdom of Solomon 14 by where it's at. But until you get that, I got this right here. It says, therefore, wisdom of Solomon, matter of fact, 
Well, there's one in, in 12, and the other one is down in 27 uh, on, uh, on chapter 14. Come to the water, my brother. Hey, this is uh, this is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 8. You can break it down, Kahai. I'm going to read it. It says, but that which is made with hands has cursed, as well as as well as it. Let me read that again. But that which is made with hands is cursed, as well as it as he that made it. He because he made it, and it because being corruptible, it was called a God. Kind of. This is uh, you know, it, it's not speaking about just any old, you know, thing that you make. It's speaking about these idols. Why? Because it comes, it comes with an uh, ideology. You know, it comes with a with wickedness behind it. Ultimately, because that's what what these um, heathens did. They turned uh, a a figure of of beast or of men. To what to worship it you know and they called it a god so curse be the the statue itself and the man that created it because he came up with the the crooked idea yeah you look at this piece of wood this is a piece of wood it can't hurt you it won't harm you but in ancient hawaiian code these niggas they worship this motherfucker bro they cut them up in stone you see it right here they made them in stone they made them in wood and they reverence these ones. They posted them up all over the place, you know? So these things, they are corruptible, meaning that they can be broken. They can be destroyed. The most side can't be destroyed. The most side can't be corrupted, you know? Okay? So back in Wisdom of Solomon, um, verse 14, verse 9, it says, For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto the most high. That's right. So the ungodly and his ungodliness are both hateful against the Most High. Again, like we we're going into, why? Because they're contrary to 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 righteousness. Yep. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Okay. Yeah. I had to. Um, I don't know if I can show this video real quick. I ain't gonna play it. You're gonna be able to hear it. You might be able to see it. Um. They had a, a picture of. Uh, I remember a video I did years ago in East India. The dude was creating the idol. Let me see. Uh, East Indian um, sculpting a god, right? I just, I just type sculpting god, right? Like these dudes right here, Indian marble artists carving statues of Hindu gods. Shit like this. You know, like these people were going to be destroyed. And you had Jake's doing the same shit. When you read the book of Acts, you had Jake's doing the same thing. This shit came out of somebody's mind. You know what I'm saying? He just, he was a, a cunning artificer. And and then people will take that and they'll pray to this shit. As if the spirit of this idol is inside of this shit. You know what I'm saying? So this shit is, this shit is off. You know, that is that shit is way off. It's nowhere near on. And then you can look at these men there as they sculpted and shit out of marble. How could you worship this shit? This shit, hey, this rich to speak about it. We're talking about it. it uh, back in Wisdom of Solomon. As for that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. So guess what? People like the uh these people that we just saw right here, they're gonna get to death if they ain't already to death. Look at death. And when they come back in the kingdom, they're gonna suffer for that, man. You're gonna right. suffer for that. You know, that's not, you ain't just gonna get a one off, one and done, bro. You got you gotta be taught not to ever do no shit like that again. Uh verse 11. So lock it, you got it. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles, sure there be a visitation, because in the creature of the most high, they are become an abomination and a stumbling block and stumbling blocks and stumbling blocks to the souls of men. And a snare to the feet of the unwise. That's right, man. And yeah. then, and the Lord, you know, Yahweh Shimei Shai, when He brings a judgment, He's gonna bring judgment upon. You know, there's gonna be a visitation upon the idols. Meaning what? Everybody that believes in these idols, man, or whether you made them or whether you believe in them, you're gonna get destroyed, man. Why? Because it became a, a, a what? It's an abomination because it's contrary to the Most High's. Is is not holy, you know, a, a stumbling block and a snare to the feet of the unwise, man, which 
chiefly this is speaking about our people man the unwise of, of, of our people because what they fell for for the traps you know they fell for the for that wicked wisdom just like uh, uh eve uh in the garden and and all our people now man you see jade nowadays and they all believe in something they believe in buddha they believe in you know and they're muslims they're catholics they're christians but look at the way they conduct themselves they acting like fucking animals man and that in the eyes of the most high is, is an abomination man because you, here you are supposed to be the holy people of, of the most high you're supposed to act accordingly but you're out here acting crazy man you know being a, a wicked individuals so lock your brother i'm just having trouble with my computer no nah, you're good and uh yeah like wisdom and solid. sorry brother i was gonna say you know uh since we were looking at the hawaiian idols and shit, they these motherfuckers had uh, I don't remember if it was a god or it was just like a custom of them. I'm assuming it came from one of those wicked uh, inventions that if uh, if their firstborn wasn't a, a, a boy, they would put their firstborn uh, or their their uh, daughters on a rock and then just lay another rock on top of them and kill them. Yep. And all that shit comes from <laughs> from, from those <laughs> idols, man. You see, that yeah, shit is some fuck, wickedness. Bro? You yeah, say, bro. Again, you know, you know that that the movie Moana, when the guy takes Moana all the way to the top of the mountain and lays like a flat rock yeah. on, on the top of the mountain. Yeah. If if your daughter was a, I mean, if you're, if you had a firstborn and it wasn't a boy, that's, right. that's what they would do. They would put the baby on top of a rock and just lay another rock on top yep. of it and kill yep. it. That's right. That's, that's right. crazy. Yeah, yeah, bro. I was when that when some Hawaiian dude told me that shit, I was like, damn, these motherfuckers are crazy, bro. Yes, <laughs> I mean, we know the heathens are fucking crazy, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on, yeah. I'm trying to wrap it up, see what it's called. Damn, man, my computer is just really bugging me tonight right now. Salakia, bro. Yeah, there's um Salakia brothers. There's a there's a there's an old Hawaiian movie. And in that movie, I'll find the name of it. When a child was born, there's a scene where they show if a child is born and the child that was born was a female and they took the female, literally, they took the female and just tossed her in the water. Yep, just just tossed her in the water. So you're right, brother, that, that's, what they, that's what they used to do in the past. If it wasn't a boy, you know, they, they, they toss them away. And, and sometimes if it was a female, the mother of the child um, would run away if she could. She would she would take the baby and escape because she knew they was gonna they was gonna kill it. You know? So yeah, they, sick it's of called them. Hawaiian inf infanticide? Infanticide? Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to figure out. Yeah, give me a second, brother. That's it. Uh, uh, of Hawaiian infanticide because then maternal conditions and poverty uh, infanticide was practiced so that it might not be oh listen to this shit right here hold on I'm trying to close some of these uh, things so they put me. I'll see if I can close some of these um, uh, close some of these have just bear with me brothers i'm having a computer problem uh let's see come on man please man this well, i need to get a new everything i just need to use everything bro yeah. Shit. Me. It says right here infanticide i have wondered i I've often wondered why there were no more children here than appear to be upon asking a white man who has resided here many years. This is images of old Hawaii. The reason he replied that many infants are strangled to death by their mothers, especially if they are not able to support them, 
and many die for want of care when young when young we have seen a number of latter cases this is from daniel chamberlain 1820 it says a man and a wife tenants of mr john young had one child a fine little boy a quarrel across arose between them on one occasion respecting this child the wife refused to see to the wishes of the husband he in revenge caught up with the child by the head and the feet broke his back across his knee god damn then threw it down and an expiring uh, expiring agonies before her struck with atrocity of the act mr young seized the man led him before the king to mehamea and requested him that he might be punished the king inquired to whom did the child he has murdered belong mr young answered this was own son then said the king neither you nor i have any right to interfere i cannot say anything what? this shit is crazy yeah, this shit is crazy yeah, these motherfuckers are monsters bro and you know what jake was doing the same shit burning their kids sacrificing the molek yeah. children openly for idols and that was a gruesome death man you know what i'm saying that's why the lord took to stay away from these nations bro do not deal with these nations bro wow. right jeremiah 10 and 1. uh jeremiah 10 and 1 says Hear ye, O Israel, which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith power by Shemiah Shai, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. That's right, man. Uh, in a blue, in a uh, NLT, it says, This is what the Yahweh says, do not act like the other nations who try to read their spirit in the stars. Do not be afraid of their predictions even though other nations are terrified at them. Yeah, see, like, you, you go fuck around and visit these Hawaiians back in the day, and these motherfuckers be shaking, uh, shivering and shaking, eyes all white, you know, all dirty and shit. You're like, what the fuck? Like, no, you don't get scared of that shit. These niggas are demons. And they're going to be yeah. they're gonna be destroyed, man. You know, they make yeah. a prediction, oh, this is going to happen to you. This is what the stars said about you, man. Fuck that. Fuck, fuck you and them stars, nigga. And I don't even mm -hmm. want to say that because the world created them. But fuck you, man. That ain't my prediction. We don't know the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to stand up for the nation. But our people will interact with these nations and get with them, and they will fall by being um, um, enticed. Yeah. But scripture says right. the ways of the wicked seduce of our people, man. You know? Kind of uh, like, brother, uh, prisoner of Slack, your brother. The brother, prisoner of hope, Isaiah 2 and 19, and they shall go to the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he arises to shake terribly the earth. Yeah, these nations are going to be scared, man. Uh, verse 18, I'll read verse 18, Salak here. And the idols he shall truly, utterly abolish. So when the Lord comes, matter of fact, Salak here, uh, he, put, he posted 17, Isaiah 2 and 17, and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down and the haughtiness of man shall be made low. And the Lord Yahweh Bashinal Shai alone shall be exalted in that day. Right. It ain't gonna be no other gods. You're not gonna be calling on Abu, Jesus, Muhammad, uh, Harry Krishna's Pele. You're gonna be calling on none of that shit. Only the name of Yahweh Bashinal Shah is gonna be exalted. It's gonna be it's gonna be a hundred percent forbidden for you to worship idols in our kingdom. Like in this kingdom, you can worship anything you want here. Esau ain't gonna hold you down for that. He ain't gonna pay you for that you, you can just do whatever not in our kingdom in the idols he shall utterly abolish that's right so the lord's gonna utterly destroy these idols you got it Tom. okay yeah um i had uh here in the book of deuteronomy uh chapter four it says uh what's, well it says So like, and I think I just closed it. One mistake. That precept that that says that the Lord gave the stars and the moon and for the, Isaiah, for the uh, heathens uh, to worship. Go up, Deuteronomy four, and um, it's it's the early. No, go all go all way up to like six, to six, and start scrolling down. I'll show you. Stop. Go down. 
Go down. Go down. Oh, yeah, right here. It starts oh, right here. Yeah, at, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll start at verse uh, 15, Deuteronomy 4 and verse 15. It says, take ye therefore good, therefore good heed unto yourselves, for ye <clears throat> saw no matter, no matter of similitudes on the day that the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Shai, spake unto you and Horeb out of the midst of the fire, lest ye corrupt yourselves, and make you a graven image, the similitude of any figure, the likeness of a male or female, the likeness yeah, of yeah. any. Uh, Keep reading. Or the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, the likeness of any <clears throat> winged fowl that is in the air, the likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth. And lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, or shouldest be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord Yahweh, thy power, hath divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. Right. So the Lord gave these nations uh, the, the, the spirit to, uh, to idolize these things that the Lord created. Temptation have gods, so they would get all excited if they seen a thunderstorm. They would get excited if they seen a volcano erupting. They would get excited if they seen the stars align a certain way, or if the moon was a different color. You know, if it turned blood red, you know they were killing people. If it turned blue, they, they were bugging out. You know, so the Lord told us not to lift up our eyes and worship these things. You know what I'm saying? And then you serve because in order to serve these. Uh, uh, in these, this idolatry, you got to do wickedness, bro. You're going to have to eat some abominable food. You're going to have to kill somebody. You're going to have to kill yourself. You're going to have to uh, do some illicit sexual act. It's always all that, all stuff that you see people are into today, including so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All of that shit comes from the rich rites and rituals of these idols, man. You know, God. from the from homosexual activity, lesbian activity to a horror spirit. Being a whore, you know, letting multiple men stab you. You know what I'm saying? That's the all of those things are that's that comes from idolatry. In the ancient Rome, there were there were priest priest uh, priest priestess that were lay down with multiple men at a time. It would just be an orgy, a fuck fest. And and Jake started in, implementing those same things into their own into our culture. You had, I don't know if you brothers know you with the story. I I want to say it's I, I want to be a, uh, Eleazar. Uh, it was one of those high priest sons. His two, two of his sons, they uh, they committed all kinds of whoredom in the in the holy temple. They were having sex in the holy temple, and the Lord killed them niggas. Man. He destroyed them Lord. niggas. They were wilding. Up. You know what I'm saying? So Jake was doing the same thing. They were turning the, the incorruptible thing into something that's corruptible. Man, he got his right. brother. No, yeah, and you could see, um, you know, uh. The, the northern kingdom you know they haven't really have that much documentation on the other tribes but i know on issachar you know they used to do a shitload of uh, human sacrifice man for the for the idols man like if you look at that movie uh, apocalypto that was yeah. uh by mel gibson and shit it shows you how jake was going off like crazy man and who they learned that shit from from the heathens you know they they learned it from the assyrians and shit while they were under captivity under them, and then they brought it here and started doing that shit amongst themselves, man. And that's why the Lord judged us, the, you know, the way he did, man, because Jake was doing all sorts of wild shit. And even to this day, they do it, man. Yeah. Right. You got something, are y'all? Uh, yeah, I, I, I was looking into what you mentioned about um, that was the, those were the sons of Eli and, and first Sam. Yeah, can you bring the step up? Yep. Uh, 1 Samuel chapter 2. It's in 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 22, I believe. Uh, 1 Samuel 2 and verse 22. Uh, let's lock me here one second. 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 22. Um, 
Eli rebukes his sons. It says, um, now Eli was very old and heard all that his sons did unto all Israel and how they lay with the women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So they were being wicked, man. Yeah. I mean, basically, just yeah, yeah, basically just having before. sex in, in, the, in the, no, you, hey, you got sex in the temple. No, go ahead, brother. Yeah, I was um, about to say this is before, this is before the Greeks came. So you mm -hmm. can't blame me, you Greek. He was just niggas. You know what I'm niggas. saying? Was just niggas. This nigga, yeah. this nigga activity right here. Yeah. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah. It. Niggas ain't right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in, addition, in addition to extortion, in addition to extortion, the niggas sons of right. Eli. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like Crunchy right. Mike said, niggas ain't right. Niggas ain't right, lad. <laughs> niggas ain't right, glad. <laughs> and, and, you know, and you know the Lord, Yahweh by Shimmy How Shy. He sees everything. Yeah. So what were they thinking? That the Lord didn't see them? You, you know? That's just that's yeah. just being wicked. That's just being plain old wicked. In addition to extortion, the sons of Eli were also guilty of sexual immorality with the women who gathered at the entrance to the tabernacle. So they was they was extorting niggas. They, not only were they yeah. extorting Jake, they were taking Jake money. Right, they were you and you see this shit happen now in these so-called churches, these yeah. Christian churches. They at the doorway, they 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 stealing your money and then they fucking on your wife, man. Or and, and, and the sons of Eli, they were also eating the 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 the, the meat that was brought in for sacrifice. Yeah, these niggas are demons. They had to go keep reading, keep reading the story. These niggas had to go. Damn, they was uh... hey, they was all in. The niggas was all in. <laughs> It says now, and he, verse 23, 1 Samuel 2, and he said unto them, why do ye such things? For I hear of your evil dealings with dealings by all this people. Uh, nay, my sons, for it is no good report that I hear. Ye make the Lord's people to transgress. Yep, so they would just, he, yeah. You got it, brother. No, you got it, you got it, you got it. Yeah, you when it. you see this do shit, you think that it's acceptable for you as a look as a lesser. So mm -hmm. they would see that and like, look, the priest is doing it and they're getting away with it. We could do it yeah. too. Yeah. Remember, sin is contagious, man. Yeah. Sin and iniquity, sin, which iniquity is sin upon sin, all of that's contagious, bro. Yeah. And that's the same world we living in today, where you get somebody that's impressionable, uh, watching somebody who is charismatic. Who has the ability mm -hmm. to lead others and they leading you the wrong way. And so you start doing that shit. You may even be the perks that the person that's showing you how to do it get, but you still doing it. So you bring the destruction to yourself. That's right. That's Thank right. you, brother. That's right. It says uh verse 24: Nay, my sons, for it is no good report that I hear ye make the Lord's people to transgress. So they will, like you said, they will cause another Israelites to follow behind what they were doing. And, yep. You know, it says, uh, verse 25, if one man sin against another, the judge shall judge him. But if a man sin against the Lord, Yahweh Shimei HaShai, who shall entreat for him? Yep. See, and, um, you know, the prophet Samuel, the Lord was using him, using him to, 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 to bring all this out. You know, but they didn't stop. <laughs> no, they, they can. They, 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 didn't take father, they didn't take their father to the beat. Yep, you know? and he and, and, and he Eli was old too. He was an old man, so he didn't have a lot of. Yeah. You know, I would imagine he didn't have a lot of fight in him. You know. Yeah, that's why and, his sons was doing what they were doing. That's why they were doing what they were doing because they should have been put to death. Well, let's go get to it. They did. They did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it says, uh, and the child Samuel grew on and was in favor. Uh, go back up, go back up. Con. Uh, go start at um, verse 25. Okay, verse 25. If one man sin against another, the judge shall judge him. But if a man sin against the Lord, Yahweh Shai, who shall entreat? For him, notwithstanding, they hearken or listen not unto the voice of their father, 
because the Lord, Yahweh Hashem HaShai, would slay them. Right, so they, they knew that if once they were, once they tried to turn around and repent, they knew mm -hmm. judgment was coming behind it. Mm -hmm. They knew that it was too much. Mm -hmm. Niggas was going off. Even though mercy is to our people, but Jake knew yeah. better back then. And they yeah. already knew that the Lord was going to want them off the So they, yeah. they, they, they were rebellious. Yeah. And it was like, no, nah, we just going to keep doing what we're doing because we're still living. And that's how, that's the mindset Jake is in today. We out yeah. there admonishing our people, telling them, look, man, you got to change your ways. You got to repent to your how about you was shy. You got to turn away from your wickedness and turn back to the Lord. And this is how you do it. Seek his face, call his name, uh, pra um, um, practice his law such commandments to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. And Jake like, man, I ain't trying to hear that because they know that because niggas is eating. But once you come back to the Lord, now you don't have to pay for that. If you have to pay for it either way, but when you come back to the Lord, now all of that, you, you're going to catch hell. And you're gonna wonder why you catch the hell, but then you're gonna realize it's because I sinned against the Lord. This is why it's happening. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep reading, brother. Uh, verse 26 And the child Samuel grew on and was in favor both with the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai and also with men. And there came a man unto the most of the most high unto Eli and said unto him. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, did I plainly appear unto the house of thy father when they were in Egypt in Pharaoh's house? And did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest? To Which offer that was, uh, that was, that was Aaron. Levi. That was Aaron. Oh. Levi. Mm -hmm. Aaron was right. Mm -hmm. And did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest to offer to upon and that's um, why that's why they got such a harsh judgment because they were the priest. They were the priests. He's supposed, he supposed to be pure, bro. Are you holy. doing this shit? Yep. Yeah, he supposed to be. He supposed to be holy. And you niggas doing this? Yep. Let's keep reading, brother. And and did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest to offer upon mine altar to burn incense to wear an ephod before me? And did I give unto the house of thy father all the offerings made by fire of the children of Israel? So he had all this responsibility. But, but niggas, niggas been being wicked. You know? It says, uh, verse 29, Wherefore kick ye at my sacrifice and at mine offering, which I have commanded in my habitation, and honor is thy sons above me. So he was putting his sons above the Lord. Yeah. You know, that, that that that's exactly what he was doing, which I have commanded yeah. in my reputation and honor this, thy sons above me to and make yourself back. Oh, you got it. You got it. No, you finished it, Priest Bob. It's almost done. To make yourselves fat with the chiefest of all the offerings of my people. Them niggas was eating so, the offerings. <laughs> yeah, but it, didn't, it wasn't. It wasn't even just his sons, bro. It was him too. It was him he, too. He basically, he, he basically, what he did was, the scripture says, "Open rebuke is better than secret love." He loved his sons more than he loved Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So he saw the wickedness that they were doing, but he was letting it go mm -hmm. because they were getting sad, and it was cool. And then he, when he tried to rebuke them, it was too late. It was a soft rebuke. It wasn't a hardcore rebuke. And yeah. scripture, he didn't put them to death. And you and he had to he was in the right to do those things just yeah. keep on reading that's right and, and real quick that's why uh in the future when your you know came to this earth he said we have to roughly paraphrasing we have to love the lord yahweh by shimmy house more than we love our family your mother your father your sisters your brothers because the law comes first matthew 6 33 is the precept that, that comes to mind well, Yahweh Shai said, seek ye first the kingdom. And then there's another precept where he was given a he was given a speech, and a man came to him and said, Hey, your mother, your mother wants to speak to you. And Yahweh Shai said, Who is my mother, my sister, my brother? Those that are doing the will of my father. So he didn't put that Yahweh by Shema Shai first. He chose his sons over the Lord, hence his uh his punishment. Uh verse 30. And that's, that's that's paramount to idolatry. That's right. Because that's what you're doing. 
that's what these right. nations do. That's what Jacob's doing. They worship and they're giving the Lord's glory to, to another. And yeah. the Lord don't play that. Yeah. Don't play that, yeah. bro. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Ecclesiastes 12, 13 comes to mind. Fear the conclusion of the matter. Fear Yahweh Shimei Hashai and keep his commandments. That is the duty of all men, of all Israelite men. You got, you got, you got to put Yahweh Shimei Hashai first. Um, verse 30, wherefore Yahweh, the power of Israel, saith, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father shall walk before me forever. But now the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei Shai said, be it far from me, for them that honor me, I will honor. And they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. See? That's right. Um, they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Man. And you yeah. can read the rest of this. You can read the rest of this on your own. It's a really uh, good chapter to read mm -hmm. and see in and see about the disobedience. I got a road. Yeah. I got uh, this road. It's a lot here. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean, this is uh, the book of um, Psalms 95. Hopefully, it comes up. Yes, yeah, Psalms 95. Uh, and I'll start at uh, one. It's points in five. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashanah Rashad. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Yahweh Bashanah Rashad is the rock of our salvation. Let us come right. before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with songs. For Yahweh Bashanah Rashad, the Lord is great, is a great power and a great king above all gods. That's and right. his hands, and his hands, are, and in his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is all is his also. The sea is his also. So you know, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no water guy, ain't no, ain't no, no, no mountain guy. You know, uh, that belongs to Mosa. All this belongs to Yahweh Bashmi Shai. The sea is his, and he made it. In his hands form the dry land. Oh, come, let us work and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Shai, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye hear the hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. And that's what Jake did. All that unbelief, all that impatience, patience that Jake was exhibiting, all that pride that Jake was exhibiting against the Lord. And what he do? He ended up destroying Jake in the wilderness, man, for that shit. Man. It says, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Right. The most I opened his hand up, and it was a rat. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, it is a people that do err in, the, in their heart. And that generation is back today. And they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Man. So are you disobedient to Yahweh, you're not going to enter into his rest. If you worshiping another God outside of your how about Shmuel Shai? Because if we ain't no other, there ain't no real, if there is no other God except your how about Shmuel Shai. That's right. It's the most high power and his son, Yahweh Shai. And then you got the heavenly host, the angel. And you got That's the right. angels in the platform like we are. There's Joseph Smith ain't sitting up in the up in the heavens with the Lord. You know, that magic Mormon round table with the white Jesus, Joseph Smith, judging. And, and the most high white man that ain't happening jack these idols that you see on these pele ain't up there ain't no papa earth mother ain't up there that's right uh ain't, uh, uh fucking waka the lizard goddess ain't up there bro you know uh capo the goddess of sorcery ain't up there bro ain't no vegetation god man. ain't no water goddess ain't that no mother goddess. earth hell no ain't no mother earth bro <laughs> hell no <laughs> I hate that shit, man. I hate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and, and Allah don't exist, man. That's right. That's right. This is Allah as a lunar deity refers to a widely rejected pseudo historical postulation that Allah, the name of God in Islam, originated from a moon god. But it did because they don't believe it. That it don't matter, and Allah don't exist. 
You know what I'm saying? Right. This, that cobblestone, this shit right here, this is idolatry. Yeah. This shit ain't this shit ain't real. You know what I'm saying? You walking around, you you worshiping a vagina. That's what the split on the side represents a vagina. And people be bugging out trying to kiss it. Talking about some a meteorite fell from the sky and they created this. First of all, why are you worshiping a meteorite, bro? It's a rock that the Lord created. But these people, these ain't the Lord's people. And you got two thirds of our people that's in this spirit too. Guess what? You're not the Lord's people on this side. You're not the most high. You're not the people of the most high. You're Israelites, but you're not the Israel of, of the high. And you got these people worshiping this stone rock, walking around millions of miles, millions of people all year long. This shit ain't real. This is idolatry. Because if our law was real, why he don't come down there and save them, save Ishmael getting bombed from hell and back? Why he don't do that? You're on vacation. <laughs> yeah, that nigga been on vacation, a permanent vacation. You know what I'm saying? Nigga been on a permanent vacation, man. I got one in um, Isaiah uh, 44 and verse 6. It says, uh, uh, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, I will shy the king of Israel and his and his redeemer, the, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. And besides me, there is no God. That's right. That's right. It says, uh, verse 7, and who as I shall call and shall declare it and set it in, in order for me since I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming and shall come, let them show unto them. And like we always say, the, the only book in the entire universe that tells us what's about to ha what, what happens at the end since the beginning is the scriptures, man. And that shows you that is it's uh divinely inspired man a lot of people like to say oh well man wrote the bible nah it, man wrote the bible but it was holy man inspired by the spirit of the lord man and this is why when it, when it no, you got it, brother. yeah and, th and that's why you know when when something drastic happens on the earth everybody runs to the bible like oh what's gonna happen what's gonna happen because they know ultimately they know that this word comes from 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 the heavens, man. That's right. Yeah, like, the, the, the prophets of old didn't just sit down in a room and make some stuff up. Well, let me write this this story. Let me create this story, and and then and then I'm gonna pass it off as the words of the Most High. They didn't do that. They 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 were inspired, meaning the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke that the Holy Spirit uttered them to do. And then they had men, scribes, writing down what they were saying. And these men were born in different periods of time in this in, in history. And guess what? The story lined up. You had prophets that didn't walk with each other. You know what I'm saying? Habakkuk didn't know who Daniel was. He didn't know who Daniel was. He didn't even know where Babylon was. Habakkuk's a prophet. Daniel was a prophet. That's but right. the Lord took him through the angel, used the angel to pick them up and gave him some food, gave Daniel some food, and then he teleported them back to where he was at on the other side of the earth. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? Daniel's story continued. That was a story of faith. That was a story of patience. That was a story of hope, resilience, perseverance. And then it, the words that were written for him were written for our learning. So they were written for us so that we could have the same faith that the ancient prophets had. You know? Right. That's right. Oh, sure. I just noticed the, the brother of uh, Prisoner of Hope posted the same scripture. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying it in my head. I was like, that's a spirit, man. Bring it out. No, no. <laughs> I, got, I got a quick precept. Oh, hold on. Let him finish eight. Let him finish eight. Oh, God, God, God. Uh, I say at 44 and eight, it says, oh, Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yeah, there is no God. I know not any. Mm -hmm. Right. So, ain't no other God, ain't no other God beside Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Everything that's happening is his world and his story. You know what I'm saying? That's right. What you got? What you got, Ariel? Um, second Peter 3 16. Second Timothy. Uh, second Timothy Salaki. Salaki. Second Timothy 3 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the most high and is profitable for doctrine. 
So the scriptures were written by men, that's true, but they were under the inspiration of Yahweh by Shimei Haushai. It's just like in a court, you have what's known as a stenographer. That's the lady or the man who's sitting in the court and everything that's said, they're typing it. They're typing what the judge says, they're typing what the lawyer says, they're typing what the defense lawyer says, the witnesses to get on the stand, everybody, what, what they're typing it. They're typing it, but it's not their words, it's not their thoughts, it's what everybody is saying. So in the same way, the Lord put the spirit on the prophets to write down what he put in their head to write down. But right. under, under then, inspiration, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's keep, finish, the, finish the precept off, brother. It says, and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Right. So the Bible so, covers everything. <laughs> you know? Yeah, okay, you no got other, yeah, no other book, no other book is uh able to do that. That's right. Like the brother said the Bible covers everything. You know, everything. it gives you it teaches when you read it in the NLT, it tells you that it teaches when we're going wrong or when we go on right and how to correct it. Right? Yeah. It says uh, yeah. in the NLT, all scripture is inspired. Is inspired by the most high and it's useful to teach what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives yes. it corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is wrong. see and no other bible no other book on our earth can do that for you the quran don't do it for you the, the book of keeping you guys don't do it for you no writing on a, no writings on a wall no ancient writings on the wall teach you that the words of your how about you know, shy do that in the uh in idea it says all scripture is the most is the heavenly father's all scripture is god breathed or the most high breathed and is useful for teaching review correct and training in righteousness man and that's what we're doing we're in training right now the lord got us training in righteousness because guess what when the kingdom of heaven is established we're going to be executing the man. that's right all right so we're being trained in that and the church teaches us even when we're children, our father is supposed to train us in this in his word. We're supposed to meditate on these words because we're supposed to grow up in righteousness from a young age, you know. But it don't happen on this side because we're in captivity. That's right. So Jake got a big Jake got a big quarrel with the word of the Lord because they believe that you know Esau used it to enslave you. Esau, he, you know, he did this, that, and the third. Some of the white man wrote, I mean, they didn't like the Bible, man. He manipulated the Bible, but he didn't write it. That's you know right. What I'm saying, you got something behind? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I was looking for something, but no, I don't have it. Yeah, I was going to uh, about this uh, woman, but I guess I'll do another lesson on another another time with the spirit have it. But um, yeah, you know, all the the gods, the nations, gods are nothing but idols, man. And they worship the things that they can see and not the things they can hear. I want to end it off with uh, the one in Moses where the, uh, the Lord said, you can't uh, see me. Remember that one I asked for earlier? Oh, yeah, can I? Yeah, can this you get is, that? This is uh in the book of Exodus, chapter 33 and verse 20. Well, I'll start at verse 19. It says, uh, well, well. Start at 18. 18 yeah well i start at 17 it says and the lord said unto moses i will do these i will do this thing uh, also that thou hast spoken for thou hast found grace in my sight and i know thee by name and he said i beseech thee show me thy glory and he said i will make all my goodness pass before thee and i will proclaim the name of yahweh by shimmy i will shout before thee and I will be gracious <clears throat> to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And he said, thou canst not see my face for there shall no man see me and live. Right. So we don't, that's why another reason why we don't make no images in the, uh, the most high, the heavenly father. We don't do nothing like that because Jake will want to see it. And then they start venerating the image. And the Lord said, no, nah, you can't do that. Also, you can't look on the heavenly father with bodily eyes. You can't be carnal coming to the heavenly father and the son. You got to be spiritual first, man. The Sorry. Lord is true. His word is true. 
You know what I'm saying? If you say something, that's what it is. You know? But you know how Jake was back then. And even now, oh, show me. They want to see. But you got to go back to the spirit world to see the Lord. Man. In fact, the reason why the reason why we can't look on the Heavenly Father with these eyes is because we're unclean. We're, we're, we're um, corrupted. Corrupted. You know what I'm saying? Our flesh is corrupted. It's wicked. And the Most High doesn't behold um, um, wickedness and evil. He doesn't behold um, unrighteousness, man. He's pure. You know what I'm saying? So if you look on the Heavenly Father, you're going to transition right back to the spirit world, bro. And that's why when Yahweh Shai get back, a lot of people going to get a ghost up, man. They're going to be horrified. They're going to be scared. But really, because they ain't right. I roughly paraphrasing. Go ahead, keep reading, bro. Um, <clears throat> verse uh, 21, it says, And the Lord Yahweh said, Behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock, and it shall come to pass, while my glory passeth by, that I will put thee in a cliff of, a rock, of the rock, and will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. And I yeah, will so take away wanted... my hand. I'm sorry, brother. He just wanted to see her. Uh, yeah, he said, I write you as filthy rags. That's right. Um, no, he wanted to see the Lord that day. He was like, just let me see you. you know what I'm saying? And he was like, no. But the Lord, he went by him and he, he put him in a, like a, you know, the side of a cliff, you know, a little in there. So when the Lord was walking by him, he can just see his uh, his, his hinder parts. You ain't going to die like that. But if you'd have looked at his face, you'd have been done. Go ahead. It says, and I will take away my hand, and thou shalt see my back parts, but my face shall not be seen. Yeah, and, that, and the reason why, just because he had that carnal moment, he just wanted to see. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. He, the Lord, but just the reason why we got the story written down. So when we get in the kingdom of heaven, we're going we're gonna to be able to look upon the heavenly father and the son and not die. Why? Because we're going to be 100% righteous. 100%. Our body's going to be righteous. Incorruptible, our spirit is going to be hundred percent righteous. The Lord going to dwell with us. These other nations ain't going to be able to see him. You know what I'm saying? But hey, we we going to have that reward, man. You know. So this has been um, this has been the nations, gods, our idols. We hope you are edified with that. We say shalom to the next. Shalom. Shalom. Hey, shalom.